hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this open curtain animation in the blender with the help of the cloth simulation so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so first of all i will just open my blender so here you can see guys this is our project file and uh, here you can see this is our curtain and here i have used one uh, wind effect okay here you can see if i will just play the animation so that wind will be uh, react something like that here you can see our curtain is going to reacting and if you want to know how i create this blowing effect so you can see my this video in this video i told you each and everything how you can create this kind of blowing effect so make sure before uh, watching this video you watch this video then you can you watch this video okay and in this video we are going to talk about how we can create the um, open curtain animation so let's start the tutorial so first of all i will just select my curtain then i'm just going to front view of this uh, curtain and after that i will just go to the edit mode of this curtain then i'm just going to select these uh, top vertices from here and then i'm just going to assign these vertices into our vertex group section from here and i will just assign it okay and same thing i will do with the other curtain as well i'm just going to select these vertices which is already selected here then i will just click a plus then i'm just going to assign it so after that you have to just select your first curtain then you have to just uh, create a new shape key from the here and you have to just click one more time so you will see our key one so this is our key basically so now i'm just going to edit mode of this curtain so then i will just change our uh, pivot point from the uh, 3d cursor to the active element so then i will just select this vertex and here you will see that will be become our pivot point now so now i'm just going to scale this something like that okay so here you can see after that if i will just move this slider so we have a, that kind of animation here which is look cool to me okay so same thing we'll do with the other curtain as well i'm just going to select this uh, curtain but before going to the edit mode i will just uh, will just create a new shape key from here then i'm just going to edit mode then i will select this vertex and, and that will be become our pivot point then i'm just going to scale it something like that okay so same thing will happen here as well here you can see it will move like this then after that what you have to do you have to just uh, go to your timeline and from here you have to just add the uh, keyframe for this so i'm just going to add one keyframe here then i'm just going to my 38th frame then i'm just going to move this slider to one and then you have to just add again one keyframe so here you can see we have uh, that kind of animation here that look great to me okay and same thing we'll do with this uh, other curtain as well i'm just going to add one keyframe here then i will just go to our 30th frame and i'm just going to move this slider to one so here you can see we have a uh, that kind of animation here and after that what we will do we will just uh, select our um, curtain then i'm just going to my physics tab from here i'm just going to add one cloth simulation and after that i'm just going to uh, scroll it down and from the shape section we'll just add these vertex group into here and same thing we'll do with uh, other curtain as well i'm just going to add these group into a pin group section and then i'm just going to enable our self collision for this as well okay and after that i'm just going to bake it so it will take little time for bake so after complete our baking so here you can see if i will just play the animation so it will look like this here you can see that's look great to me okay and here you can see i have already uh, created a wind effect for it so if you want to know how i create this so you can see my this video in this video i have told you how you can create this blowing effect with the uh, cloud simulation so you so you can watch my this video okay and now everything looking cool to me so now we'll just add one image uh, behind this window because right now we can't see anything so for that what we will do so i have already downloaded one image so i'm just going to import uh, this image uh, into a blender so i'm just going to go my image section from here i will just uh, call that image from here so here you can see we have uh, that image already so i'm just going to place it here i'm just going to scale it according to our uh, window then i'm just going to keep it here so here you can see that will look like this okay so if i will play the animation again so it will look like this okay 
but here you can see right now we can't see any kind of um, sunlight coming through our uh, window so how we can create this effect as well so for that what we have to do we have to just create a one light here okay so i'm just going to add one area light and keep it uh, here something like that then i'm just going to scale this light something like that and something like that as well and then keep it here and try to increase the uh, intensity and power of this light okay so that's look great to me we can keep it here and we can change the little color of this light as well then i'm just going to add the um, animation keyframe onto this light frame as well i'm just going to add the one keyframe here then, then i'm just going to my first frame and just going to set it power zero and I will just add one more keyframe okay so here you can see when a uh, curtain will open that light uh, will also going to light up something like that and that's look great to me okay guys so here you can see that look great so that's how you can create uh, this uh, open curtain animation in the blender with the help of the cloud simulation and if you want to know how i create this blowing effect so you can watch my this video in this video i teach each and everything about how you can create a blowing effect with the cloud simulation so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys